Okay, Algebra 1 students, we're here to look at Unit 1, Lesson 10. The name of this is The Effect of Extremes. We're looking at the minimums and maximums that are far away from the main part of the data. So, our learning goals. I can describe how an extreme value will affect the mean and median. So, if you have a number way away from the rest of the data, Will it make that mean or median bigger, smaller, and by how much? I can use the shape of distribution to compare the mean and median. So if we look at data and notice that it's skewed right or skewed left, how does that affect the mean and median, and can we make estimates based off of that? All right, so we want to be able to review some basic vocabulary to do this lesson. First, extreme. An extreme is just data away from the bulk. So we have a bulk of data here and a number way over here. This would be considered an extreme. Typically we see this in things that look skewed. So we have skewed left and skewed right data. Here we have the bulk over here and we have a little bit of data on the left, skewed left. Here we have the bulk of data here and a little bit of data to the right. That would be skewed right. Then we have two important words to remember, mean, which is our average, that's what we've been doing for a while, and then our median, which remember is the middle of all of our data. All right, now the big thing that you need to think about before class today. A little bit different warm up today. I'm gonna to give you a situation. You just need to write down some ideas of what you think is going on or we would need to attack this problem. So the situation is, if you think of a battle royale video game. So basically, a hundred players are dumped in it on an island, and then they fight until there's one person left. You can play it in solo or pairs. So we can think of any game um, that is just a free-for-all, where you're trying to kill your opponents or anything like that to end up with one victor. So, what information could you use to determine the top players in different modes? Would it be someone with the most kills or the most wins or whoever survives the longest? Think of different things, different information. Come up with as many things as you could to help you determine who's the best player. All right, and then number two, I want you to think about this situation and how you would want to graphically show this so that you could identify who the better player is. One person claims that the best solo players play in game version A. Another claims that, the, that game B has the better solo players. How would you display data to help inform the discussion? Not that you're picking a side, but how would you want to show the data so that the people can make a decision based off of what you're giving them. All right, thank you. Come with the, that stuff for tomorrow, and I'll see you then.